we're not dealing in a high, you know, uh, high intellect thought process here. Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. As I like to tell you all the time, I'm a health guy. So I spend my entire life immersed in health and learning everything I possibly can about it. And then there's guys like Joe Rogan and these two guys that own the Black Rifle uh, Coffee Company that get in and they just sort of make comments. So it's sort of like what I would say, uh, Joe Rogan, he's got this podcast. I'm not an interviewer. I'm not, I could probably do a pretty good interview, but he's, he's one of the best out there. So he knows that. He's, he does stand-up comedy. I have kids and I lie to them. <laughs> I get high around them too. People say you shouldn't do that, but they don't see it. Uh, I don't know anything about stand-up comedy. And then he do, he's an MMA announcer. Well, I know a little bit about MMA. You know, I'm a black belt, but not a whole lot or anything. I couldn't call a game or anything like that. So uh, I, you know, as they say, stay in your lane. I just stay in my own area of expertise, but... You know, the, what they do in these guys, they get on Joe Rogan. The reason I'm bringing this out is because this is such a hugely popular podcast. And then people listen to it and they glom onto this stuff and they start saying, well, geez, I know something about health. Well, you're going to see here, they don't, they really are saying a lot of truthful things here. But it's really kind of funny to see how they, they arrive at their conclusions and how much they're really wrong about. You're going to need fat. If you don't, you're going to get fatigued. It's gonna, it'll start fucking with you. And that's one of the reasons why I got really into tallow and really started eating a lot of bacon and things like that. So I guess the first thing we're going to learn here is that tallow and bacon are really, really healthy for you. Well, you know, tallow is what they used to. It's like animal fat. And uh, this is not a healthy kind of fat at all. If you want to eat healthy fat, it's plant-based fat. They make some good points in here about people eating all this fat and the kind of fats and the processed foods and everything. Some really good points and that's why I'm playing this. I don't want to just beat up on these guys, but tallow and bacon fat are, are healthy for you. No, they're not. They're really, really, really incredibly unhealthy. Stay in your lane, Joe. Such like a national misconception that fat's bad for your body. Because I hear that from a lot of people. Like, I don't want to eat it. It's fat. Well, they were told that for the longest time. They were Well, first of all, there's real evidence that sugar and, and these companies that made sugar paid scientists to fuck with data to put heart disease and all these uh, problems that people are having with clogged arteries to push that off on saturated fat right and to take that away from from sugar right and it's sugar it's sugar is terrible for you sugar in that form is so unnatural as far as um, the sugar um, studies being adulterated to make fat look bad I'm not sure about that it could be um, it's kind of conspiratorial I you know definitely I've seen I literally have seen studies uh, that will take a, something that's very, very unhealthy and, 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 and see, hey, look, it turns out it's actually pretty healthy a, uh, after all. And I always say the media does this to it. It's true. Uh, cholesterol is bad for you. Cholesterol is good for you. Coffee is bad for you. Coffee is good for you. Back and forth. It depends on, you know, the study of the day, what's going to get the most headlines, what will get cl clicks on your website, whatever. So he's a little bit right about that, but the idea that saturated fat is okay, and especially animal fat is okay. You know, just uh, take your uh, frying pan after and uh, fry up a bunch of bacon in there and pour it down your drain afterwards and see what happens to your drain. That's your body. That's what's going to happen. That clogs arteries. It's really bad for you. And cooked animal protein, you know, cooked animal fat doesn't belong in the body at all, especially saturated fat. There's no nutritional benefits whatsoever. Right, right. Fat in the form of meat is very natural. Mm -hmm. It's what human beings have been eating since the beginning of time. So if you want to go back to the beginning and the dawn of man, the very, very beginning, we weren't cooking our food now, were we? Okay, we, you know, we hadn't discovered fire and uh, use of fire and control of fire. So now, you, you know, you look at the ancient Eskimos, they lived and they never cooked their food. They would eat this blubber from uh, whales and this kind of stuff. They had a, a 60%, 60% of their diet was just raw fat. And they had no evidence of uh, any kind of chronic disease. Arthritis is the main thing that shows up in people. Uh, you know, when you see like Neanderthal man 50,000 years ago, they began to cook their food. Suddenly you see arthritis. So if you want to go back to that, if you eat meat, fish, eggs, or dairy raw, you don't cook them and it's organic and isn't, uh, you know, it isn't uh, farm raised. We're going to get into that in a second. You're not going to have a problem. I can guarantee you that. But 
Uh, that's not what we do with our, our meat, fish, and egg, eggs and dairy. We always cook it. So, uh, Joe, if you think that bacon or bacon fat or tallow is healthy, it's not. It's extremely unhealthy. Yeah, it's monounsaturated, normal. polyunsaturated, saturated fats, all pretty good for you. Just like stay away from trans fat. So trans fats is what we make, right? That You have to produce a trans fat. And, um, you know, it, 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 what it does, what, what they do in the process is that they uh, they stabilize the fat so it can last for years and years and years. This is why so many of the fast foods and you know and and the junk foods that you see in the market last so long. It's because of trans fat. So he's right in saying that. But it, you know, saturated fats are healthy. It's ex they're extremely unhealthy. Probably, well, but. unsaturated fats that come from vegetable oils, like I think it's called linoleic acid, is fucking terrible for you. It's, really? Not only is it terrible for you, there's real evidence that it makes you hungry. That like you're you're eating it and there's no nutrients in it, so your body gets hungrier. Look, if, throughout human history, there's never been a time until recently where people got oils directly from plants right. in large quantities like right. that. You know, if you got oil from plants, it was like oil from avocados, like natural. Mm -hmm. Or you got your oil from you know beef fat or chicken fat or things th that's natural for human beings. Right. Well, Joe, uh, you're 100 percent right. You're 100 percent right. All these oils that people eat and all these butters, you know, you've got, you know, almond butter and peanut butter and cashew butter. I mean, uh, you know, what's your, you know, these butters like this, you're eating, you're getting the nut of the, the plant and then you're extracting the oil from it. And, you know, people, when I started getting into raw foods many years ago, I was eating like olive oil like crazy. I mean, I, you wouldn't believe how much olive oil I would put on my salads and all this kind of stuff. You begin, just begin to see this is not a healthy, and it's even olive oil. It's a pretty healthy oil. Some people say it doesn't, doesn't matter. I use oil every single night on my salads, but a very small amount, like one or two teaspoons. So, and then he's saying, well, you know, cooking in these fats, you know, what he's talking about, this canola oil, you're gonna, he's going to mention this in a minute. This is, this is really this rapeseed oil. This is terrible oil. So he's right. The idea that we're frying in these oils, uh, this is not a natural thing. And I say as all, all the time, the worst foods you can put into your body that are regularly available out there are fried foods. I mean, they're just as bad as anything. There's huge amounts of free radicals in, in fried fat. And fried fat is really, it's not, you know, trans fats, very, very unhealthy. Fried fats, same thing. They're, they're, they're very, very unhealthy. And I would say there's no difference between the two. These saturated fats that are natural, um, your body knows what to do with them. Your body doesn't know what the fuck to do with canola oil. <laughs> you know, what is it? Your, your body's like, what the fuck is right, this? Right, your body yeah. gets a hold of like some raw honey. Your body knows exactly what to do with it. But your body gets a hold of like fucking corn syrup. And 100% right, Joe. 100% right. It, well, you put something into your body that doesn't belong there uh, and it is natural. Your body doesn't know what to do with it. Like canola oil and this kind of stuff. You know, you're... Your burgers. There's there's no burger tree. There's no pizza tree. Uh, there's no Twinkies tree. There's no there's none of these bushes or you know uh, there's no Dorito bush or or potato chip bush. No, but there is uh, you know a tomato plant and there's you know a string bean plant and there's you know arugula plants and all this kind of stuff. And your body knows what to do with that. So you put anything into your body that doesn't belong there, and your body has an immune response. Okay, and the body only knows one immune response, and that's inflammation. Now, there's two types of inflammation. There's silent inflammation and acute inflammation. Acute inflammation, that's you feel that. Oh, that hurts. Okay, it's the silent inflammation that gets in there. You never know it's there, and it's kind of in the background, and it's never allowing your body to function to its capacity. So, if you want to talk about see these oils that don't belong there. And your body says, boy, uh, I don't think honey's a really good example of, you know, because there's so, so much sugar in that. But a better example would be like an apple, something with a lot of nutrients in it. Yeah, it recognizes that. It doesn't re recognize the corn chips and the cheese puffs or any other processed food. And re quite frankly, it doesn't even um, recognize any kind of cooked food. Because we didn't evolve on cooked foods. We evolved on raw foods. Right. That kind of shit. It's like, what is this? It just doesn't make sense to your body. And I think we've gotten into this processed food thing. And processed food is almost entirely... Like if you, if you, you it's a, first of all, it's a human, it's a new human creation. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's, it should never be your first choice. We agree again, Joe. It shouldn't be your first choice, shouldn't be your last choice, shouldn't be any choice. 
Processed food, just like what you said, we just came up with this stuff. We invented it just you know, 100 years ago, barely. And now every, everybody is living on this exclusively. There was the guy that only lived, only ate McDonald's, right? Uh, he went there, he got himself a Big Mac, and then he just got a, he went and got two Big Macs every day for the rest of his life. I mean, there's no Big Mac tree, okay? There, there, there's no popcorn tree. There's none of this stuff. We invented all this stuff, and no, it doesn't belong in the body. And yes, your body looks at that and says, what is this? I'm, what am I supposed to do with this? It can barely get any of the nutrients out of it at all. And the rest of it just becomes so difficult to digest. I mean, you you know, it doesn't come with enzymes, so it's not digesting. And then you deplete all your digestive enzymes, and, and you you know, and eventually you become so acidic. And now you're open to any kind of disease. Gee, you wonder where all the diseases come from. Do you ever hear a doctor about her talk about this kind of thing? No, because they don't know anything about health. And they know about medicine. Medicine doesn't lead to health. Your no. first choice should be natural foods. You know, your first choice should be she look. Apple, steak, all that, that's normal. Right. You can eat that. That's easy. Your body knows what the fuck to do with that. But, you know, you get into, like, seed oils and all right. these, like, really heavily processed seed oils. Like, there's real evidence that that is a, a giant part of what's wrong with the health of Americans today is these ultra-processed vegetable oils. The seed oils are real bad, but don't <clears throat> don't blame all the, 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 the rising disease rates, the cancer rates going through the, the roof, the diabetes and everything, don't blame that on the seed oils, okay? There's a lot more to it than that. It's all your processed foods. It's all your fast foods. It's everything you cook. It's, a, it's the bacon that you're cooking because there's no bacon tree. Now, I've said for years, if you want to eat meat, fish, eggs, or dairy raw and it's organic, you're not going to have a problem. But who, where can you find that anymore? I mean, and who eats animal protein raw? We don't. We have sushi. That's it. I wouldn't eat the fish that's coming out on the market these days. I find it to be very, very contaminated. Yeah. Even going back to, as, as Joe said, the cooked steak. Yeah, you can't, uh, your body doesn't recognize a cooked steak. If you were to eat it raw, it'd be fine. But again, you cook those steaks. And that's when your body looks at that and says, no, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know what that is. So yeah, it's the processed oils, they're terrible. The processed foods, they're horrible. The fast foods, they're even worse. And the cook, the home cooked food that you put right in your house and you get those ingredients and they're fresh and they're farm fresh, when you cook it, it's not as bad as the other things, but it's not much better. They're right. fucking terrible for you. But it, it doesn't seem to me like that's a stretch in logic, right? No. So for just the American diet in general, for us to look at the traditional food pyramid and say, well, that's bullshit. Ultimately, you know, if, if grains and, and processed foods sit at the, the cornerstone of your entire diet, you're going to have some issues. But I think what people want is they want their easy button, right? Well, They're you're like, hungry. You I'm, yeah. see Jack in the box. You pull in, you get a right. burger. You're like, oh, now I feel better. But meanwhile, you just force some shit into your system. Now your system's got to burn off all this bullshit that you poured in. Well, I think we could do without all the potty mouth here, and I think you'd have a much wider audience and could show it to children, that kind of stuff, but that's beside the point. Yeah, you, you know, you go down and uh, you go to Jack in the Box, or you go to In-N-Out Burger, any of this stuff, and yeah, you're immediately satisfied. But and uh, but obviously it's it's only you know momentarily. I always tell people if you know if instead of you pulled up to those places and they didn't accept money, but they only accepted a piece of your health, so that in the future that was going to come due and there was nothing you could do about it other than give over your health to them. I think you might think twice before going through that drive-through again. God, that husk. God, the He's... Japanese got it right with food. I'm telling you, they sushi, did? white rice, mm -hmm. seaweed, just yeah. all day yeah. favorite. And... Yeah, well, there's a, a lot of countries that figured it out. We're just not one of them. <laughs> well, if you really want to look at the healthiest diet, I'd have to say it's probably the Koreans um, overall population. They talk about Okinawa and Japan and how they got the longest living people. Um, they, 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 by the way, those are the they have the least amount of rice in their diet. White rice is just starchy carbohydrate. It's not a healthy food. It, it's not a killer, but this is not like a powerhouse, and it's just something for sustenance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're right. like ultra processed seed oils, sugar, <laughs> corn syrup, yeah, preservatives, g fucking gallons of preservatives, glyphosate on all our plants. Yeah. Yeah, and the the glyphosate, which is Roundup uh, from Monsanto, that great corporation. Thanks, guys. 
Um, it's everywhere in our environment, and it's everywhere throughout the world. So we're not the only ones. The idea, we invented it, yeah, but every, everybody in the world has adopted our diet one way or another. Okay, They're all processing their foods. Um, and you look at, it, Korea is a good example. I mentioned that earlier, and, and you know, real true Koreans will tell you, um, you, you look at like fat Koreans, and they'll all say, it's because they eat your food. You, they, eat your, your, they eat at KFC, they eat at McDonald's, they eat a, they've ad adopted this diet, and now they're obese. They won't stick with the traditional uh, Korean diet. And so that's, a, you know, because you look at the Koreans, they are pretty healthy people overall, and, uh, you know, very slim, and they, they have a great diet, and Japanese as well. Uh, but you, you, you look at the ones that adopted our diet and eat, eat these fast foods and stuff, and they're as unhealthy as, as, as anyone. So, yeah, you're absolutely right about that. that. There's also evidence that, like, animals, and I've been getting into this lately, animals that eat uh, these uh, ultra-processed foods, then you eat them. Like, animals that eat, like, ultra-processed corn, and then you right. eat that animal. Like, you're getting some of the bullshit from the corn and some of the bullshit from that. All these seed oil acids, you're getting th these things in your body, too. Well, 100% right again. And, you know, I mean, doesn't that make you pause right there? First of all, when you're eating an animal, you're, you're, you got a middleman, okay? There's, there, there are no nutrients in an animal that you can't get from the plant world. So the, the, the animal eats the plants, and then we eat the animal. Now, all, all the animals that we eat are vegetarians, right? The cow and the chicken and the pig, they're all vegetarians. And mo almost all the fish are vegetarians. All, they're all vegetarians. Now, uh, and they eat the plants, and then we eat them. When you're eating the meat you find in your stores, the chicken uh, that they feed arsenic to, or uh, the, the beef, okay? And he's 100% right. What do they feed? They feed them corn, right? Corn-fed beef. What? They're grass grazers. They're grazing animals. Why would you feed them corn? Well, to fatten them up because you can bring them to market uh, sooner. And, 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 the, and you know, they're, yeah, they're, there's all this, these chemicals that they're growing this corn with, and they end up in the meat, and they end up inside the, the animal, and then they end up on your plate, and you eat those. Yeah, 100%, right. Know the source of your food. I say it all the time. Know where this is coming from. Uh, Slaughterhouses, they have made uh, more vegetarians out of people than anywhere else, and there's, there's a reason for that. Those chickens are eating arsenic, and they're packed in you know, right on top of each other, shitting on each other everywhere. Like, I'd rather have a free-range free egg. Yeah. I'd rather have that. I'd rather have free-range chicken. It's no offense to however you want to eat, but it's just a preference of eating. It's pretty easy. Um, what's free-range? It's a totally meaningless statement. I mean, they, it's a marketing term. So free-range, that's nothing that the FDA recognizes or anything like that. So, I mean, if you want to get your meat or your eggs or your chickens, try to get it from somebody local. You can actually see them being... Uh, you know, raised in front of you so you can know what, what you're getting and not just go down to the supermarket. Um, but that's kind of beside the point. What he said here is kind of important. Oh, I don't want to offend anybody. You can eat what you want. Well, you, you can eat. I don't, you know, I don't really care who I offend, period. And you can eat whatever you want. But I am going to tell you, don't eat this. This is, this is really bad for you. Don't eat meat. This is what pe people get so angry at me all the time when I tell them don't eat meat it's not healthy for you and I get this I'll eat whatever I want well it's you're not putting it into my mouth I'm very much against smoking of any kind because when somebody smokes we all smoke we all got to breathe it in I, I grew up you know with smoke my entire life I this you know uh, taking smoking out of our society and not allowing people to smoke is one of the great things of my lifetime you know it allows you to go into restaurants you don't have to smell smoke and this kind of stuff but uh, the idea that, you know, you don't want to offend anybody, the truth is the truth about health. And I, I always say the truth about health, and I'm, like I'm doing right now, and people get very upset. And they say, well, you know, I, I'm going to eat whatever I want. Well, it's about, it's about the facts, and it's about physiology. It's not about what you really like and what you don't want like. It's about the truth. So if you do like it, those foods, like people eat steak, quit thinking that's healthy for you, okay? It's just not. You like want to eat a burger? Eat a burger. It's not healthy for you. It's a very unhealthy thing to eat a, a hamburger uh, and, you know, for a number of reasons, okay? It depends on what kind of burger and where you got it and all that. They're all unhealthy. They just go from really, really terrible garbage like you find in, in, uh, in fast food joints to like the really, really good ones where you see that you know, they made and it's organic meat and all that. That's still terrible for you. People don't want to hear that. They get really mad 
and uh, they get very, very angry at me. I, I've lost a, a lot of relationships with people by just telling them this, the, the, the truth about these things. But the truth is what it is, and those things are not healthy for you, period. It's organic. Well, I think if there's any one thing in this country where there is a, a massive lack of understanding in terms of like the, the, the way people perceive what's good and what's bad it's nutrition mm -hmm. because there's so few doctors that really know what the fuck they're talking about doctors you mean medical doctors well none of them know what they're they're talking about wow i'm glad i'm glad you know don't don't you're kind of sliding off here joe we are doing pretty good medical doctors don't know anything about health okay medicine is medicine health is health okay they're, they're, you don't medicine does not lead to health medicine just leads to more medicine Medicine, all it does is try to cover up the symptoms, okay? And what we're talking about, medicine for disease, and, you know, and health. So there's so do few doctors that know what they're talking about. Well, I'm a naturopathic doctor, and I know what I'm talking about. And, uh, you know, I've written all these books on health, and I've made all these videos, and I stand behind everything that I say. So quit looking to the medical world for answers. Medical doctors have two hours, at the very most, two hours of nutrition training. Um, in med school. So they go to medical school. They're not going to health school. They're not going to nutrition school because to them, uh, you know, n nutrition really doesn't have anything to do with health. Okay. I mean, w when I became a naturopathic doctor, we didn't study anything about medicine. Why would we? We don't believe in medicine. Uh, the body can cure itself of any disease. What, what do I got to look for, uh, you know, a pharmaceutical? What am I looking for a pill? I don't need that. I mean, the body can cure itself. You got to put the right things into it, the right foods into it. You think a medical doctor is going to give you that? This is the this is the whole point, and I really want to make this very clear. Stop looking to the medical world. Stop looking to medical doctors for answers. There's just so few of them that even know what's going on. Well, yeah, how would they? They know as much as the average person because they're they're not trained in it, and they don't experience the way I. You know, most of what I know about health, eighty percent of it. I mean, I got I'm a master herbalist, a certified nutritional consultant. 80%, more than that, 80, 90% of what I know about health is, is what I've experienced through my diet. You can read all you want. And that's why you see so many health professionals that look like crap, because they just read. They maybe know what to do, but they just read, and you've got experience. you got to do it. you got to walk the walk. You know, and I live in a raw food diet, and so I walk the walk, and, and, and that's how I stay healthy. And that's why at 63, I still run a six-minute mile, and I, my blood work comes back perfect every single time, um, you know, I, I, I have it. Every, I mean, every time I have it run, it comes back perfect. I don't, I don't have any ailments. I'm full of energy. It's because of what I put into my body. Don't look to the medical world for health answers. There's doctors out there that'll tell you you don't need supplements. You don't right. need supplements. You need a healthy, balanced diet. Right. And then you look at them. They got a gut. They look bloated. <laughs> they look like they're dying. Well, medical doctors are the shortest living white collar professionals um, that are out there. The, the accountants live longer. The lawyers live longer. Uh, they're the shortest living because they don't know anything about health. And um, yeah, they got a big gut, or they got—they don't look good, and and they're just not trained in health. They're trained in medicine, and it's amazing to me. It still continue. They, they people look to them for health answers when they should be looking to health professionals. You know, they they sit. The medical establishment sits on this throne of health, and and they're they really don't belong here at all. I mean, they sit on. They should be sitting on the throne of medicine. And people like me should be sitting here on the throne of health telling you what to do, but they don't. They've taken over. They want both fiefdoms. They want, they want the, the medical world, and they equate that with the health world. And anybody like me, they just want to scoff. They just want us to look at this idiot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Do you have a medical license? All this kind of stuff. I always get this. Yeah, med you know, in, in the most famous, you know, every, every uh, medical doctor will say one thing, uh, you know, that is diet and uh, exercise they are important what 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 diet what kind of exercise kind of vague on that one they don't have a clue yeah you know and don't take supplements well what would they exactly what would they know about supplements and what you know i i sell a ton of supplements and i take supplements what's a supplement you know i should get into that i should tell you what exactly why i take supplements and what and what they are um, some of the, sometimes it's just a really bad tasting food, so you put it into capsules so you don't have to taste it. But it has amazing health benefits, like ginkgo, ginkgo biloba. This is an awful tasting food. Um, shilajit, I mean that stuff. What that can do for you? But you want to, You ever taste that? So it's, oh my god, it's just awful. All these, a lot of these herbal extracts are awful. So what do you do? You, you know, you put them in capsules, and people will take them, and that's great. That's what a supplement is. 
But, uh, you know, the idea, again, you know, doctors going around, don't take supplements, eat, eat this, eat what? They don't know. Joe, you did a pretty good job. You exposed a lot of things. You should have a guy like me on your show, somebody, somebody who can actually tell you something about true health and how you can be healthy, you know, and never, never, you know, live a healthy life as long as you want. You get somebody like me on there, and I can really straighten you out and tell you things that you're never going to hear anywhere else. Anyway, hey, Dr. Bob, I got to get out of here. This has been a long one. I'll see you next time. We're not dealing in a high, you know, uh, high intellect thought process here. We're not.